Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug Eye and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I got some good news and I got some bad news and a kind of good news to follow. The good news, let's take a look at the world map. Ta-da! Oops. Yes, I got uh, Pro Mods working thanks to the guys over at the Pro Mod website that pointed out a step that I had missed in getting things going. So I've got all this territory. Interestingly enough, the Pro Mods takes out England. I cannot tell you that I, I, I'm really happy and kind of disappointed at the same time because it's like you're adding all this, but you're taking away this. But on the other hand, I hated going here. <laughs> but anyways, Pro Mods is up and working. Uh, so we got that going. Bad news. My save file because of Pro Mods for some reason won't work. And I'm not saying that's anyone in Pro Mods fault. Uh, it's just how it is. Uh, so we're starting back at the beginning. So this last two episodes that you saw on Thursday and Friday, yeah, cut those out. <laughs> they don't exist anymore. So I'm actually still on the... Um, uh, the tutorial delivery. And... Man, really? Hang on. My controls, of all things, are not set up. Um, okay, steering access. Left and right. Okay. Acceleration access. That. Brake access is that. Um, look up and down access is here. Left and right axis is here. Okay. So that should um, be fine now. I'm not sure what I did set up and what I didn't. Because I got this working um, over the time that um, uh, I've been uploading over the week. Yeah? Oh, and I forgot to shut the music off. I'm not particularly fond of the music, or at the very least, i got to turn it down. Oh, well, I already got myself up to six. What the hell was I thinking? I love these big man trucks with the, with the high roof on them. It's just this huge windshield to look out of. You have these really nice mirrors for seeing behind you. I still haven't gone and... Um, I still haven't gone and gotten the um, small mirror, uh, just because I don't know where to look right now. I haven't even bothered to look for mods yet. Um, I will at some point. I know that I said I would probably um, bring back like a skin showcase or a mod showcase, but sadly I can't do it this week like I wanted to. So we'll we'll get this rookie. Uh, oh, cool! Actually, we have to turn here. Now, for convenience, I have it set to auto exhaust brake and auto um, auto exhaust brake and auto. Um, this looks like the spot, honestly auto retarder um, it just makes it easier when dealing with a controller you know my buttons are limited oh maybe I was supposed to go further but I can probably get there going this way look like there was a back entrance but we're coming through the main entrance so there Yep, there it is. Oh no, we had to come through that entrance. Oh, I love this delivery spot. <laughs> Coming in at an angle. That's nice. It's a nice touch. This is obviously part of Pro Mods here. This is this can't be standard map. sure I get some wheel turn in there before I go too far. 
This may not line up on the first one because I'm a little too far over, but I may be able to get it. And coming in at the angle is it definitely throws me off compared to what I normally do. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it on the first back in. Yeah, I'm definitely not. But I can get myself lined up a little bit better. A little more straight on. And then probably get it in that way. Well, I'm still probably not going to get it. This is going to be a little bit more challenging than I thought. Yeah, bump the... I just feel like I should be able to pull it off right here, like this. Well, get the wheel turned a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That worked. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I took out the weather effect mod. I, just, I hated that freaking loading screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, shush. Options. Audio. Because the music is up way too high, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe even lower than that. I got the master volume down. I keep the sound effect volume up, usually. Um, that should be okay, I hope. Uh, if not, I'll make adjustments. Um, anyways. So, we head into our job market, and we pick up some quick jobs. All right, our price per distance is already set. We didn't make enough to level up. I don't think we did. No. Okay. So. Uh, 14, 14. But this one clocks in at 5,000 for a thousand more at 14.12, only two cents less per mile. I think this is the one we want driving the sawdust panels. All right. Now on top of that, we're in uh, Mercedes. You know, I have to say, I like all the trucks in the game, even with their faults, except for one. You just said you like all the trucks. That means you don't like all the trucks. Oh, hush. I do like all the trucks in the game more than I dislike, is I guess what I should say. Uh, the only one that I kind of don't like is the DAF. I'm sorry. I think the DAF's field of vision is terrible. I really do. I think the DAF has a terrible field of vision. Uh, it has terrible, terrible mirrors. And I don't consider it very powerful. I'm also going to get the dashboard uh, mod back as well if I can. Like I said, I haven't bothered to look. I should, like, keep an eye on my fuel and my uh, revs a little bit more because I have realistic fuel consumption on. I have air brake simulation. Uh, I have fuel consumption being realistic. Uh, things like that. So I'm trying to make it a little more uh, simulator, uh, sim style, rather than, you know, a little more arcade style. But I'll get back to the mods, I promise you. I may even do one for Friday. I may go and like look for one today or tomorrow, today being Saturday. Um, and put it up on Friday. Nothing says I won't. The load we're hauling is not too heavy, so starting in third gear should be fine. I'd probably even start in fourth if I wanted, but usually I start in third for most loads.
Now I could fuel up the truck right now if I wanted to and wouldn't cost me anything because when you're doing uh, quick jobs all charges go to your um, employer so you don't have to pay for that you also don't have to pay for toll bridges or not toll bridges toll booths I say toll bridges because I used to live uh, on the Chesapeake Bay for a while in a very little tiny sleepy eight block by eight block I'm not kidding uh, wide uh, town uh, whose name actually escapes me right now. Oh, Cape Charles. That's it. It was Cape Charles, Virginia uh, that I lived in for a short time. And we were not far uh, from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Uh, $10 to get across one way, $10 to get across the other. Uh, I left that area just before they started constructing the second bridge. And we're going to um, re and, and uh, rebuild the old bridge because the old bridge, the road sections were sagging between the pylons, and it was quite an adventure driving over as your car bounced up and down going over the. <laughs> or if you were in a longer vehicle, it rocked back and forth, you know. Yeah, I really need to get out of this lane. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good. Um, it was, was an interesting place to live. I mean, it was extremely sleepy town. They had a movie theater that would show, like, the most popular movies uh, when they came out. would also show older movies. And the movie theater was basically an old, run-down, um, uh, just theatrical theater, you know, where you go and see plays and show performances. And they just hung this massive... Uh, white sheet uh, of a kind. Um, uh, watch my speed. Okay, I'm only up to 90. Uh, and they used the projector on this giant white sheet. I mean, I'm not even sure it was a sheet. It might have been a sail from a boat. I mean, the thing was huge. But you could tell that it wasn't an actual movie screen. And that was the movie theater. And to give you an idea of when I actually um, lived in this town, um, it was when the very first Mortal Kombat movie had, too fast, had come to theaters. Yeah, the very first Mortal Kombat movie, Mortal Kombat the original. I saw that, and I think I actually saw one of the Batman movies there, one of the original Batman movies. Uh, I forget which one. But yeah, that, that I would occasionally, you know, go there. That was the big uh, center of entertainment uh, in the town. There was also a small little store. Um, it was a small little store in the town, little general store, and a little small supermarket. Most people that worked uh, in the town worked for one of two places. They either worked for the big concrete factory that uh, was right next door to the town. There was an old giant, con not giant, but pretty large concrete uh, factory uh, mill, I guess. I'm not sure what you'd call it. Um, next to the town. And a lot of people worked there. And it was really convenient because they just walked to work and walked back. It was right there. It was actually right next to a small railway station because they used to ship in and out um, via uh, train. So there was actually a railway station that came all the way in and then dead-ended at the... Um, <sighs> there are reasons you travel in the other lane, you know. But it dead-ended in the um, concrete factory. And then um, from there, the other place I used to work is there was actually a, um, I don't know what the speed limit is. We're just going to hope. We're good. There was a, um, was it Tyson? It might have been Tyson. I'm not entirely sure, but there was a, a chicken... I don't know what you call them. I'll just call it a chicken factory. 
you know, where you where they'd slaughter and prep the chickens and wrap them and their various forms and send them out. So there was another there was one of those. Um, again, I don't know what the speed limit is, so we just slow it down to under 90 on a highway is usually pretty good if you don't know what the speed is because usually the speed limit's right about 90. Yep, we're good. We actually got up over 90 and we were still okay. And those were the two main places people worked. And the chicken place was really, really, really far. Um, was really far out. Um, and then there were little local businesses. And these are where I tended to work. My first job in the area was working for a place known as uh, Stingrays. It was a nice little restaurant uh, with some... Because they, say they, they went with the monkey, a world-famous chili. It won a couple contests. But I wouldn't call it world-famous, but it was really good. I don't know. I'm not here to talk it down. It was really good chili. <laughs> and um, that didn't work out so well. Um, it just didn't. They thought I was lackadaisical and stupid. And the reality is, is I got thrown into the fire... And was, you know, try, you know, here, figure figure out how to do this, figure out how to do that. And I had a couple early accidents um, from trying to figure stuff out and doing things I've never done before. And they kind of took a disliking to me, which in turn I took a disliking to the job and I was eventually let go. But from there I moved to a restaurant closer that I could actually walk to. Uh, and walk home from. Took me about a half hour. Uh, and it was called Someplace Else. And it wasn't a full restaurant. It was a restaurant bar. But I had more fun working there than I had in most restaurants that I worked in. I worked in quite a few. Because not only was it a bar, um, you know, I got free meals there. I could have whatever I wanted. One meal a day. And um, I didn't drink. I honestly... You know, I'm not a drinker. I might have a beer uh, as big as a 40 ounce. Um, I, I saw the speed limit earlier said 120. I don't like going that fast in a truck. I really don't. I don't like going 120 in a truck. Because um, it's really easy to tip over. I like to keep it around 100 to 110. Even 110 for me is kind of pushing it. Because you're you're up in your um, in your fuel consumption. So I'll even lock it in at about 100. Um, but anyways, um, they also had uh, groups, you know, local bands that would come in and play. They had this really tiny cramped in stage. And they had these groups that would come in and play. And they had this one, like, big famous group, um, local famous, that would come in every so often. And then they had another group that was a regular at the bar that were really good singers. And was just really cool. And I was a dishwasher there, uh, as well as, you know, the dishwasher doubled as the pizza maker, which wasn't difficult considering you had... The pre-made frozen crust, but was still uh, really good. The ingredients that we got were fresh. And the crust was actually pretty good. It was pretty good pizza. Um, I keep glancing over at my fuel, and I should be fine. Don't know what the speed is at this point, so we're going to slow it down. It may be 120 still, but I'd rather not risk it. Not on a hard economy. I've got time. I could fuel... But I'm not going to. I think I'm. Yeah, I should be fine. We got only about a hundred kilometers left to go. So I really had fun there. Um, but I was. I've all. I have been. And I. I was. Have been. And probably always will be a problematic person. A lot of personal problems and whatnot. So things, as usual, eventually fell apart, and I ended up leaving and moving to. Uh, I think I moved to New Hampshire from Virginia to live with a friend, and that fell apart. That's a much longer story that 
I'm not going to go into right now. I mean, it had a good, it had its good times and its bad times. Didn't mean to ramble on about part of my life, but you know, sometimes I just get caught up in what I'm talking about. And that's what happened. Boy, does Pro Mods put in a lot of speed traps? I mean, I guess it's more realistic, but still. Not something I'm used to. But we'll get used to it. Alright, speed, speed, speed. I'll try and lock it around 100. We are cruising. We just, this has been a nice, smooth run. These, this is one of those rare runs, man. This is a rare run. and I don't know if Pro Mods helps with this or not. I don't know what Pro Mods change. I know it adds locations and deliveries and, and whatnot. I don't know what else it adds. I got it this way. Wow. Was not used to this. Look at this. Look at this tangled of looks like kind of a clover leaf, but not. Now oh, this almost threw me off. I don't know if this is part of Pro Mods or if this is part of the actual map because something like this existed when I had a truck sim map, and I never actually knew if it was part of Pro Mods or part of, or part of the truck sim map or not. And this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit different. Still pretty fucking cool though. That's for sure. Zoom. Oh, that car is flying. You know, I'm keeping a critical eye on the Acolis Rift right now. Uh, I'm still, like, I'm like a lot of people, I'm still a little bit angry over the fact that Acolis Rift sold out to Facebook. I really don't feel that was right, considering that the whole thing was crowdfunded. You know, and people were buying early models, not only to gain access to the game, developer kits, not only to gain access uh, to it, but it was also another way of helping to fund continuing development. And then they turn around to sell, and on the one hand, you can't blame them. I'm sorry, but if I was making a product and a company came along and offered me like $2 billion for it, I'd probably sell too. But on the other hand, I do have an enormous loyalty factor in my blood. Once I'm part of something, I am fiercely loyal to it until I feel like I've been betrayed. Um, now, I don't know what triggers that feeling, and it hasn't happened too often, but it does happen. But that's just how I am. I have an enormous loyalty factor until I feel like I've been betrayed. I got a turn coming up, so rather than try and get by this truck, I'm just going to come inside. A little more volume in my ears. Um, so, again, would I have actually sold out for $2 billion? I kind of like to say it had been a moral dilemma, but I really feel in my heart that, yeah, I would have. So I don't blame them too much, but... Either way, when you play driving games like this, especially sim games like this one, man, a Colus Rift really looks good. I've actually considered uh, trying to pick up an a Colus Rift, an early developer version, but then why? Because when the actual version comes out as a player, you'd have to pick that up to catch up. So. For me, it just made more sense not to. I don't know if I talked about this before, but my credit has actually come back enough. Man, I ruined my credit. And don't ever do that. But I ruined my credit. And thanks to having and paying for a new car for a year, my credit has slowly come back. And I've actually been pre-approved for one of those small credit cards where... They charge you $100 in fees right off the top, and then you have to pay $75 to open the account. And I had one of these cards before, and it's actually not that bad, and I would have had a $400 credit. But the funny thing I find out is it's the same bank that I had the credit card with before. 
that when I lost my job and my wife wasn't working, we ended up maxing out and not being able to pay back. So the reality is we never paid them back, but they're offering me a credit card and I'm already approved for it. Sadly, I won't be able to access it this month because I've got too many things. You know, me and my wife, we got to get our, our car done with an oil change that's overdue. Uh, we got to pay for our Amazon Prime uh, because we live in Hawaii. It's like almost vital to have an Amazon Prime so you order anything from Amazon. Uh, the shipping here is outrageous, so having Prime really helps. Granted, you can't get it like in two to three business days or whatever they're express uh, you can only get it overnighted and um, you can only get it overnighted and um, what's the other one? Oh yeah it arrives in like three to seven business days you know that's their like two day delivery for Hawaii three to seven business days because you know you gotta cross the ocean most of the time you have to cross most of the country, so it takes a little time to get here. But it is beyond worth having if it says Prime, man. Let me tell you, I had a chair delivered. Uh, total weight of the chair was like 60 pounds. And had I paid for that dad delivered, it would have been nuts. It would have cost more than the chair, which was $150. Uh, 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 uh. I think I'm a little off. No, no, I got it. It's not straight, but it'll do. All right. We made level two. Now, normally I would do my first long distance, but I'm actually going to break tradition and go with high value cargo first. Um, I'm also going to get in our mail just so it doesn't light up anymore. Yeah, we know you have trucks in Berlin. Okay. All right, folks, that's going to be me done for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Join me next time. We'll we're continue on with a with uh, I want to say American Truck Simulator, but that's not out yet. <laughs> Join me again next time on Euro Truck Simulator Two. Until then, see you next time.